So anyway, uh, we are going to go in then to the second game. I would love to do some scuba diving, actually. Yeah. I could uh, I could help set up your gear if you like. You could go, you could go uh, deep under water. I'd rather. You anyway, so we are going to go into round two once again. Top left of your screen is going to be Killier this time. Top right is going to be the team that lost their rogue of Kage, and that is, of course, uh, going to be Rush. Uh, let's follow the rogues off of this one. And actually, both these teams looking to play defensively, and actually, someone got pulled out, and it was actually Kage. You can see he had a slow on him. Going to be taking an arcane barrage, and Haren is looking, you know, he's really the predator in that situation, wanted to catch that Galil uh, as we watch Discovery Channel with Penguins, but unfortunately, Kage got away. Yeah, Hiran's been out of the action for so long now here, and he does have Minegi targeted. It does look as though they might go for a coordinated burst, but they've sort of retreated back to their uh, original starting positions. Yeah, and, uh, well, it's quite nice to see Miracle, as well as Akmas, you know, give people buffs and then drink up. I mean, every, every little helps uh, in these arenas, and, it, you know, you can never be too careful with the openers because the openers are really going to what's going to define you. Uh, obviously, last time we saw it kind of switch around, but that was through the great play of Haren uh, and Classe, uh, you know, taking down Cage. But both of these rogues are going to be moving up, and Haren is going to catch a blizzard this time. He's going to get cold feet, though, and want to get out of that situation. Class A, what a nice move from him. Actually came in and put him in, both of them in Frost Nova and got a dispel off the sheep as well. And he's actually going to put Kage uh, just into combat with a ridiculously ranged uh, Arcane Poly. Uh, we can see Miyagi try uh, pulling uh, Haren into uh, Poly there. That's going to be dispelled. Let's uh, switch over then to, um, sorry, Kage. He doesn't manage to get back oh. himself. Haren is in a, you know, got himself in a good situation. He could turn on him though, and it is might turn on him as he gets put into a kidney shot. He has to use, he uses a Cloak of Shadows in a good position, but look at um, Kage, he goes down so slow. So rupture is on him as well. Uh, a Fear is on Aquas. And um, surely, you know, Kage he manages to jump up with Shadow Step. That was absolutely amazing. And Kage, keeping in line the sight of that penance, manages to get a full penance. And he's trying to get back out. And there we go. He finally gets back into reself. Brilliant play by Kage. Cannot fault him whatsoever in that situation. Absolutely superb. And manages, well, when I say manages, does get a slap <laughs> off onto Classic. What a great slap. A target. And actually, he finds Haren over looking to get that Shadow Sight buff. He actually gets the kidney shot onto Haren, so it's his advantage now. Um, let's check out the Priest. The Priest has no mana whatsoever. Haren's going to be in so much trouble. He's taking extra damage because of that Shadow Sight. And Kage is taking a lot of damage as well. Both of these rogues so, so low. Kage is the first one to drop, though. Will they be able to get a kill on Haren? They do get a kill onto Haren, and it is now a two-on-two -two situation. Or the mana in the favor of both the mages. Let's switch over to Class A and see what he's doing in this situation. He has Minegi Polly just next to him. Yeah, he actually managed to get a full Evo off there, while Minegi only got half an Evo because of Klazi's poly. And he, uh, Minegi's casting Fireball at the moment onto Klazi. He's taking a lot of damage, trying to get around the pillar, but he is slowed. Yeah, he is slowed. And these two on twos could go on for a long time. One team will end up committing um, to a fight that they think they can win. They will either win it or have it turned against them. Um, but they will want to play this safe. Let's switch over to Miracle then from the team of uh, Killier. And they've lost their rogue. You know, quite unfortunate to do so, but are they looking oh, to get Oh, look at this. They might get the resurrection off. Three, two, <sighs> one. In comes oh. the resurrection, and it's going to be Miracle, and he brings up Haren, but also Kage got bought up, so they're going to reset the fight completely. Both of the rogues given a second chance and instantly brought back up, and this is absolutely insane, but look at this. Class A, you know, didn't manage to stop it. Didn't manage to stop Kage getting rezzed. Miracle got up his as well, and we're back to a three on three. Never seen this before in a professional tournament. This is the upper bracket finals here at the Intel. Kage taking a lot of damage in this situation. Let's switch over to him. You can see actually an improved counter spell onto Aqua. So Kage having to look after himself right now, trying to drop down. He's going to shadow step back up. That does trick um, Haren. You can see Haren is on the floor, feeling a bit stupid uh, at the moment. Actually gets pulled out by jumping Holy Nova, but Kage is still going to go down to a solo. Uh, mage, which was Class A, and they claim the second kill of the game, which is going to be on Kage. He drops for the second time, and Haren, you know, got the moves pulled on him, but Class A didn't get the moves pulled on. He stayed up on the bridge and knew what it was to do and killed Kage for the second time. And surely Killie will claim victory here as they wait, and well, they wait only for disconnects, and it's only Miyagi to leave the arena, tail between his legs. 
you know, didn't stop the res. Probably was up to him and all too late. And the second round goes yeah. to Killian. Have you ever seen something like that. No, it was breathtaking and Killy A really took the initiative. As soon as they had their rogue up, they just went straight in, just tried to unload as much damage as they could rather than wait around. You know, the, the opposing team were just sort of waiting to, until they had the cooldown advantage and it didn't pay off. They just really, really should have been more aggressive there. Yeah, and Aquas, um, you know, he, he did really nice. Um, he actually jumped up and put her own back in combat with a jumping Holy Nova. Yeah. Um, but then he was out of position. He was down uh, by the ramp and, you know, he, he was basically, you know, taken out of the game and wasn't being able to, you know, couldn't heal. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Kage died for the second time. Uh, but still, <laughs> absolutely brilliant play. Um, cannot fault whatsoever, uh, almost either team, and the mana was really kind of depleting for both the priests. Uh, there wasn't actually mana burns out, it was really just, you know, they managed to keep people alive through all the damage and all the outs, and so brilliant play from every team, uh, every team, both teams, um, in that situation.